Today on The Joy of Editing, we're going to get a look at the new update for Topaz Photo AI. This is version 2.2.0. Now with an object selection brush. We're going to get a look at that today. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Yes, there's another update for Topaz Photo AI. Now we have an object selection brush. This is a pretty cool new addition, I think. We'll get a look at that today. If you don't yet own Topaz Photo AI or you'd like to pick up some Topaz products, I have affiliate links in the description below this video. Just click on those links and that'll take you to the Topaz website where you can purchase the products. I'll make a small commission and this helps to support the joy of editing with Dave Kelly when you use my affiliate link. And for that, I thank you. On the screen right now, you can see the changes since the last update, 2.1.4. But today I want to look at the object selection brush for point and click masking. And they added some tool tips for feathering and brush size. And, and they also named the AI brush to super pixel brush. I don't know why they did that, but they did that. But let's get a look at the new object selection brush. Now, where do we find this object selection brush? Now, you're going to find it under subject here, okay? Now remember, subject is only for sharpening. Noise reduction will be added to your entire image, but sharpening is a little bit different. You could choose for sharpening to only sharpen the subject that you select, or if you choose none for subject, it'll sharpen the entire image. Let's click on subject, and this is where you're gonna find under brush types, the new object selection brush. Now this is a drop down. You'll notice here we have super pixel brush, regular brush, and object selection brush. Now, super pixel brush used to be called the AI brush. They renamed it again. I don't know why, but they did. And we still have the regular brush as well as the object selection brush. Let's go ahead and take a look at the object selection brush. So let me go ahead and click on it. Now, right now you'll notice detect subject. I have this set up for default, and this is what it has found on this image right here. My hope would have been that it would have found all of these different tools and selected them, but it didn't. So I can use this new object selection brush to help me out here. Now, right now, notice we have two modes. We have add and subtract. Right now, I'm in the subtract mode. Now, I can click add or I can type my X key to switch between add and subtract. Okay, so now I'm on add. And this brush is really simple. You see the little crosshatch right there? Just hover this over any part of the image you want. Left click it with your mouse and see if it can select that area. And as you can see, it did a really good job. Then I could come here and click. And now let me click on this handle of this tool and it selects it, and I'll click back here. It missed this section back here. Let me click right here and see if it can grab this whole thing, right? It does. Let me click over on this. I think it's an all. Is that what that is? Or a planer, maybe. I'll click right here on this handle. Click here. And you see how easy it is. You can just click away and see if it can grab these things. Now, you can also use the other brushes in conjunction with this. As we can see, it's missed this area right here. So I could come here and grab the regular brush and we'll adjust the uh, brush size smaller here and then I could just come and just you know paint over this area right like so so we can use the different brushes together I could use the uh, super pixel brush which was the old AI brush nothing has changed they just changed the name so we can use all these brushes together but let me go back to the object selection brush and let me grab a couple more of these guys I'll grab them real quick here I went ahead and sped the video up. I just want to grab the rest of these tools. But I do like this new object selection brush. And then I see it missed this little area right here. So let me see if I can just click right here and see if I can grab that. Yeah, it does a pretty good job. And this area here, it overshot. So in that case, I'd probably go and grab a regular brush and go into the subtract mode. And I could just like, you know, paint this area off in here something like that but there you go this area right here needs cleaned up a little bit and maybe right here but just like that let's say i'm happy with that then i can just click apply it'll go ahead and add sharpening just to those areas that i've told it to let me go ahead and zoom into like let's go into 100 percent here now just take a look at all the different objects i'm going to hold the space bar down when you hold the space bar down you can see it before so I'm going to hold my space bar down right now. Here's before 
sharpening on the objects. Now I'll release the space bar. And now here is after. So this is the new object selection brush. I really like it. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. I think it's a welcome addition to Topaz Photo AI. And also, by the way, if you click on this button right here, you could give Topaz some feedback. It'll take you over to the website where you could let them know. Do you want to see any changes to this object selection brush? Do you want to see any improvements to it? Let them know as well as anything about Topaz Photo AI. Because I do believe Topaz are a company that does listen to their users. So let them know your feedback. It's very important. It'll make the product better for us all. Well, there it is, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the first look at this latest update for Topaz Photo AI. Now with an object selection brush. This is version 2.2.0. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber, please subscribe. Click that bell notification icon. Click all so that you'll receive all notifications. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today on the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. And I will see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.